All right, good morning, YouTube. So it's been a little while, I know, since we had filmed anything, but we were traveling, but now we are back. We are killing it for the next two weeks until we get to Texas on our little Texas tour, which should be a lot of fun. We are hosting group workouts in two in San Antonio, two in Dallas, and then one in Houston. So that should be a lot of fun. So we are carb cycling to get ready for, um, get ready for our little Texas tour. And we've been carb cycling for exactly two weeks now. So as soon as we leave, and I've been carb cycling for about 30 days, I will do like a before and after because I did take before photos and I feel like my body is changing quite a bit. So that's really positive. So it is my third low day in a row. So I'll do three low days and then one high day. And if you guys need help about carb cycling or how to do it or why you do it, we do have a how-to on our YouTube. So I will link that somewhere in this apparatus up here, or maybe it's over here, I don't know. Um, so it is my third low day, so tomorrow I will have a high day, which is amazing. But on my low days, I do like to lift either arms, abs, or back, just things that don't necessarily um, get like a pump, or like I don't like need like a back pump, like it's really weird to me. So I will lift those muscle groups on my low days, and then on my high days, I like to save shoulders and glutes for my high carb days. So today, like I said, it is my third low day and it is ab day for me. And I also like it too, cause um, when I eat carbs sometimes, it kind of like bloats me a little bit. So when I do abs, I like to have like a tight core. So that's what I'm doing. Should be a lot of fun. I think Josh and I are gonna lift abs together. And then it's Sunday, so we have like a full day of stuff to be doing errands and whatnot. So we're gonna get started. I'm going to eat. I'm going to make protein cookie dough with just these simple ingredients. You can, this is our own protein, and you can order it on bomarfitness.com, as you can see right there, Walmart Fitness approved. So this is just a really good low carb protein, break, or yeah, good low carb protein breakfast that I am going to make right now, and it's very simple. So that's just one scoop of protein powder. One tablespoon of coconut flour. And then enough almond milk to make it like a cookie dough consistency. It doesn't take a lot of almond milk. Here's the final product. Obviously sprinkles are a must. at you, monk. Oh, he doesn't look too afraid of you, Ginger. He doesn't look scared at all. Jerry, get him. What are you doing? He's right there. That chipmunk is so mean. He knows you're in here. Jerry, he knows. He knows. Get him. He didn't flinch, Jerger. He didn't flinch one bit. Josh likes to play this fun game called Did I Put Beta Alanine in your pre workout today? <laughs> we mix a lot of little customized ingredients into our pre workout. So I made Sarah a little surprise cocktail this morning. Yeah, my ears are like itching off my body, <laughs> but. Hardy, hard, hard, hard. We're going to do 55 to 60. He, he set up for starters.
what was that for you? I, I did seven, but I'm on six. I'm on the power ten circuit. This is really hard after doing like 55 GHD setup. What's the power ten circuit? Do one rep, rest, then two, then rest, three, then rest, all the way up to ten. You end up doing 55 reps. It's a great, great circuit for beginners, for people that are motivated. It kind of creates a Jedi mind trick on yourself that you're capable of doing it because it doesn't seem like it'd be that hard. You did one, then two, then three. You're like, this can't be that hard. So I just dropped Josh off to get a haircut because he was looking ratchet. And I needed to eat, so I came over here to Piata, got a lovely salad, spinach, um, I did sausage, uh, cucumbers, onions, their pickles. Oh my gosh, they're pickles. And, ooh, sun-dried tomatoes. So super low carb, um, the pork is obviously higher fat. And for the dressing, I got it on the side, which I took a video on my phone, which you guys will see. And you'll see that I literally just like take my fork and dip it in the dressing and then dip it in or use my fork to fork, <laughs> fork the food. So there's dressing already on there. So you get the same taste and flavor of the dressing. I did the apple cider vinaigrette because it is the lowest calorie. I think it's only like 15 calories per tablespoon, which is super low, but still... Any way that I can save calories, I certainly am doing right now. So you'll see, so the first clip you'll see is me actually dipping the fork. Okay, now that you've seen me dipping the fork, now you'll see in the next clip how much dressing I actually used, and it's very, very, very little. So now you have that for reference. Um, it's just, like I said, a simple way to save some calories if you are counting your macros, counting your calories. I know it might seem mundane. It might seem very like, oh, well, it's not that many calories. But when you add it up in the long run, calories from things like dressings, oils, liquid calories, if you're drinking your calories, things like that, they could add up in the long run and, you know, not necessarily make or break your weight loss because... 50 calories here and there won't make a huge overall 
astronomical difference, but it will help save you calories in other areas. So for me, I would rather eat, you know, an extra 10 almonds than just dump a ton of dressing on my salad. So it's just, it's just perspective. Um, same with eating calories or drinking calories. I would rather eat my calories than drink them. Um, so it's just, it's ways to save calories. So if you guys are interested, sorry, I have a big callus on my hand. It's really gross. Um, we do have a how to, how to avoid hidden calories that comes with our meal plan on bomerfitness.com. It's also available for level three members and elite members on shredded school. Just some tips to help you guys if you are counting your calories. Um, <clears throat> so I'm off to get gas, pick up Joshua, who won't look like a ratchet hairball anymore, and then I don't know what we're doing the rest of the day. The day is young. It's, it's young. So we lifted abs earlier, we did our cardio, we sat in the sauna for about 15 minutes. <sighs> I'm exhausted. I'm really tired. On my, like, my third low day in a row, like, it's definitely my lowest as far as energy goes. However, I do think tonight we are going to a Brazilian steakhouse just to get, um, up the fat quite a bit in our diets. So that should be a lot of fun. If you guys have never been, they're really, really, really fun. It's just, like, a lot of meat. So if you've never been, you definitely should look into going if you guys have one in your area because they are amazing. So, um, I think that's what we're doing tonight. Not wait, not really sure, but I'm sure you guys will find out because by the time you see this, we'll have already done the thing that we're going to do. So yeah. Peace out, Girl Scout. I'm going to find the GoPro right now because we are going trail riding today. I'm so excited. <laughs> Gotta find the GoPro. That way I can do time lapse the whole time. Wouldn't that be fun? So, hold on. Set this somewhere. <laughs> Okay, so I know that, why is it so blue in here? Who knows? Okay, so I know I told you guys that I would show you if we went to Texas State Brazil last night, which we did. However, I didn't film it just because I wanted to kind of tell you guys, like, it's not bad to have date nights and planned treat meals and fun in your life. Um, dieting can sometimes be like super, super, super mentally and physically exhausting. So don't be afraid to enjoy yourself. That being said, you need to think of your calories that you get each day like a bank account. So if you have $2,500 to spend, you have to allot it accordingly, right? So if you want to buy something that's $1,700 calories, that means you all have 800 for the rest of the day. So if you do want to go out and enjoy a treat meal or something like that, you just need to make sure that you are properly tracking. That way you don't overspend on your calories. So that means you can still enjoy yourself. You can still go out and have fun and have date nights every once in a while. Now it doesn't need to be like every single day or anything like that, but just know that you can still do those things as long as you plan accordingly. So that's that. Hope that helped.